what's going on guys today questions for the crew we're gonna be answering well basically a twofold question it's you know as a virtual slash online trainer how do you know your clients are doing what they're supposed to be doing and how do you hold them accountable so i'm going to go into a few little things that we do so hopefully this helps you know anybody that's thinking about going into training or going into online training or it just helps you know people that are thinking about hiring somebody and getting them a little bit of understanding of the process so if you need to know the answer to this question, this video's for you. Boom, 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 boom. We back. It's a beautiful day here in Dallas. I mean, when I say beautiful, my watch is 78 degrees and it's July. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and be outside and talk to you guys and um, answer this question. So again, questions for the crew. Like I said in a little intro, it's about um, you know accountability and you know how do I know that you know clients are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. So the beautiful thing about what I do is for my virtual clients, we have an app. So this way, if you're not putting stuff in the app, I know to follow up, say, hey, what's going on? So there goes, you know, one, one layer of accountability. Two, we have it, you know, at everybody's different schedules, everybody's different goals, things of that nature. So we have people we're supposed to be doing it weekly, not everybody does, have them putting in progress pictures. Because we because that's the way we're able to see you know, is what we're doing working? What adjustments do we need to make? Th things of that nature. So that's why we have people, you know, we make sure that you're doing that. And most people are supposed to be doing it weekly. Some people is every other week. Again, it depends on your goals, you know, things of that nature. So that's, the app is our, one of our hugest, hugest, that's not even a word, one of our biggest pieces in terms of accountability because, you know, it, it alerts us to different things. Because, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times somebody just gives you a plan and kind of like sets it on autopilot they may not catch that you always miss Thursdays and Fridays or, you know, just all these different things that we're able to catch, you know, through the apps so that way we adjust schedules, you know, so that way, um, you know, we, we want you to succeed when you when you when you come to No Excuse Crew, we want you to succeed. We need you to succeed. So that's, you know, so we make sure we, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're staying on top of that. Um, the other thing, and, and this is the even more beautiful thing about what we do. Most of our clients are weight loss clients. We do have people at Konos that want to get muscle. Um, some people, they want to go to, well, I say the next level, so they've kind of lost weight you know, on their own, but now they want to tighten and tone. Just, so there's a lot of different things, but at the end of the day, most of our clients are weight loss clients, people that need to lose 30 pounds or more. And a lot of them aren't familiar with how to do it or anything like that, so they come to us to help guide them. So the beautiful thing about that is that it's a very simple formula that everybody in the world wants to complicate. Burn more calories than you take in. Point blank period. Now we're talking about weight loss, not fat loss. Let's talk about weight loss. So how do I know? So for example, if you need to lose 50 pounds, right? And we have you in a certain level of caloric deficit. It really has nothing to do with how much you're, how much you're working out. This is about what you're eating. You know what I mean? <clears throat> if your weight loss starts to stall, there's one of two things that have happened. Now, if we've seen, if you're, if you're going at a slower rate of 0.5 to a pound per week, which is fine, you know what I mean? You know, we'll see that. Or if you, now if you're somebody that's, you know, that's larger and you're losing a lot, you're shoot, losing two and a half to five pounds per week. Once that starts to slow up, we're going to see one of two things. The one thing is, okay, do we need to adjust your calories? Because now we're at the point where, okay, now that you're, not, instead of being 200 pounds, you're 175 pounds, your, cal your, you know, your calorie intake has, um, has changed. Because now, instead of it being putting you in a deficit, it's putting you more at maintenance. And we need to keep you losing because our goal is to get down to 150, for example. So we need to um, you know, keep doing that. Or the other one, other one, which sadly is the more likely thing, people aren't doing what they're supposed to do or they're not doing what they're, say, what they're saying they're doing. So you have a lot of people, you know, they lost a few pounds. They're kind of getting, you know, oh, yeah, I got this down, this, that, and the third. So they start to think, oh, I can sneak that piece of cake or I can do this, I can do that haven't really earned that yet but they're doing it anyway and then when i say okay what's going on oh well you know i'm sticking to the plan because my first thing is that well are you sticking closely to the plan oh well, yeah i'm sticking closely to the plan but the no you're not because just like my man doctor now says you know i always bring him up if you were doing it it's science if you were eating only 1500 calories as somebody that weighs even 175 pounds with even minimal activity, you are going to continue to lose weight. That's enough of a caloric deficit. So we know that there's some that there's some messing up going on there. And 
the messing up is okay. Just own up to it so we can fix it. Because if you keep telling us, oh, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. You know, outside of us just saying, you know, no, you're not, which we do. You know, there's nothing we can do to help. You know, garbage in, garbage out. If you're telling, because I, I can give you the plan, but if you're not working the plan, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So that's how, you know, again, you know, for accountability, how do we know? Because it's science and it's very, 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 very simple. You know, and then the other part of it is, and then I'm going to get on the back of here, is are you measuring? One of my one of my clients has he's like, you know, one of my best friends in the world. You know, we, 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 you know, we, I mean, we talk all the time, period, but you know, we, you know, when we talk about his program and things of that nature, you know, I was saying to him, I was like, you have to measure your food. And, you know, he said, well, I eyeball it. And, you know, yeah, you do get to a point where you can kind of eyeball it, but that's more for maintenance. But when you're in that loss uh, um, phase of your journey, you really need to measure everything because you don't realize how much you can accidentally be, you know, um, overeating. So what you'll do is, okay. Boom, I eyeballed this, I did, 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 did. So in your mind, when you track it and when you log it, let's say your goal is to hit 1,800 calories and you and you log 1,750. So you're thinking, oh man, I'm doing great. But then, you know, you do that for a couple of weeks and you notice the scale hasn't moved. Your first thing is you're not thinking about the food because when you're looking at your tracker, you see, oh, I've hit my, I've hit my calorie goal every day, did, 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 did. But then, so now you think it's your working out. Oh, I'm not working out hard enough or my workout, you know. So when we're in weight loss thing, the first thing we, I always go back to that. Any good trainer is gonna, because while the working out is necessary, the eating is the number one thing when you're trying to lose weight and when you try to lose fat. So then we say, I say, are you measuring everything? Cause say, are you tracking everything or hitting your goals? Nine times out of 10 are gonna tell me yes. I'm like, are you measuring everything? That's where it gets tricky. Well, no, not really. I'm like, well, you may think you're eating 1750. You might even be eating as much as 2750. If you're not counting for what you're using to cook with, you know, if you put butter in the pan or whatever the case may be, you know, if you're not measuring, especially things, pe peanut butter's tricky. That's why, that's why I really don't like putting it on weight loss plans because it is very easy. You do that teaspoon, you take a heaping teaspoon, you just, you just basically doubled your serving size on accident. So now you're eating way more than what you think. So... But those are some keys and some things that you that you know that we do that again from a client perspective hey this is what you need to keep in mind before you go ask your trainer hey what's going on here be self-sufficient your trainer your, your trainer is there to coach and help you every step of the way however you do need to be they're not there to hold your hand that's not what you pay somebody for go buy a babysitter if you want somebody to hold your hand trainer and coach is there to give you the plan and to help you execute the plan so when you have questions and things like that so so examine like i tell people look at yourself first okay am i measuring you know go go through the checklist because then if you are doing all those things now it's time okay hey coach i've checked this i've checked this i've checked this and i, I feel like we're, we're stagnant what do we need to do now you have a real productive even if, even if it's conflict it's productive conflict is leading to you know to um Know, to a, to, a, to a solution to to the issue you know what I'm saying and then you know just from a from a trainer standpoint you know when you're a personal trainer you know I have my in-person clients you see them so you can tell if they're starting to gain they're not really you know you can tell that you know but um you know as far as anybody's trying to do you know the virtual side of this game you know make sure that you are putting your accountability pieces in check make sure you're making sure that the people are constantly using whatever emails whatever you're using Make sure that they're actually using it. If they're not, follow up with them. If you're not, you know, however, whatever way you use, make sure that you're following up. Because if you see something, address it. All right, y'all. Like always, I went way longer than I wanted to. But hope we got that question answered for anybody else that was, um, was wondering. And you guys have a great one.